Let's do a story time. So this story time will be about how I quit one of my jobs when I used to work at McDonald's. Now, let me let y'all know something real quick. I've worked at a few McDonald's. Just like the job I have now, I worked at a few of those jobs. The same jobs, the same company, actually. So, yeah. yeah. Let's jump right in. Let me get one more chip first before I start talking. Mm, one more. Two more and then, yeah, that's it. I'm going to start. Regarding the age, let me see if I, try, if I could remember the age I used to work at that one McDonald's. I think I was probably like my early 20s. I was in my, my early, early 20s. Okay. And I used to work at this one McDonald's. At that time, to me, that McDonald's was like the ghettoest McDonald's ever. But now, getting older, I've noticed that um, there's other ghetto McDonald's. So, anywho, how I quit my job working at this one McDonald's. Boom, I used to work, <coughs> um, I used to work, was it third shift, um, night shift, third shift, night shift, it was, um, shift shift or afternoon shift it was morning nine morning afternoon nine. at that time i believe i don't remember sorry y'all and then back then i used to uh um and most likely drink i used to do that um so i think it was um afternoon shift it was that night? It was that considered night? I don't know. It was from like 3 to 10. Something like that. So, I get ready for the day. And around that time, I already had enough of that stinking ass job. You know, I already knew deep down in my heart that um, I was going to be quitting soon i just didn't know exactly what day soon so in here i get ready you know at that time i used to walk to work and i used to have my headphones on and i used to be jamming to um future um i think it was was it pluto it was like that whole future album that was a ship and it still is okay anyway I was just listening i used to listen to that whole album that future album i believe it was called pluto 
Oh, was that a name? A title name. A song title name. And, um, hold on, hold on. I'll get to it. Wait. I'm really, I'm really bad at telling stories and shit. Be patient. Dang. So I used to walk to my job at that time. And I used to jam out to the Bluto, the future. And by the way, I like me some future. I like future. He's one of my um, favorite rapper of mine. Sorry, my hair is wet, it's itchy, and it's drying right now. Okay. So, boom, I'm on my way to work. Okay. Now, you guys know, and if you don't know, well, now you know that around maybe one ish, two ish, three ish, four ish at McDonald's, it's like a rush hour at McDonald's. Okay. That's when everybody gets out of school, after school, everybody's all packed. Parents want to come in, students want to come in. It's all crazy at them hours. So I, I think I had to start at like three or four. I don't remember and I don't care to remember. So boom, I walk into a busy ass McDonald's and I'm on my head like, ugh, this shit again. Oops, this crap again. So boom, I walk in through the door and then through the door to get behind the counter, you know, and then we have the you know the managers with their stank ass time of the month period so i go boom i punch in and they right away tell me oh work in the front mind you i was always working um drive through in the back hiding looking cute so Around that week, I had to be in the front. You know, they would put me in the front with with their um, horrible ass training, okay? I learned, if I learned anything, I learned that on my own. Anywho, so boom, they put me in the front. Usually there's like a million managers and employees, but for some reason, it was just, I think two managers? But I remember with this mind of mine, I remember one being in front. Maybe the other one was in the back doing who knows what. But there was one in front. We're gonna call we're gonna call her. We have to give her a name. I'm gonna call her um Big Mama's Big Mama House. Big Mama's house, okay? So Big Mama's house was in the front. And she was doing drive-through in the front. There's drive-through in the back where they order. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your nappy ass order? What the hell you want? And then it's the people in drive-through in front where they just hand the food on home. Here goes your stinking ass burger. Whatever. She was doing that part, which that was supposed to be my part. In my head, it's supposed to be my part, you know. But everybody knows in a job you do different. You switch. Switch you switch um positions you know you could be a cashier you could be this you could be that uh, uh, yeah, whatever you know you know you gotta learn and be trained around the job not just in one spot so they put me in the front and she's like you're gonna take orders okay she told me this her chip fell y'all let me get that chip if not, that cat will be around the trying to eat it. Um, where are you? I chewed so young. Hold up. This ghetto has video. <laughs> um, where are you, little chip? Because I'm going to eat you still. Here it is. You know, it's got hair. What they say, God. God kisses devil misses. And then you eat it. Hey, I thought I was gonna eat it. Only because I'm on camera, I didn't eat it. Otherwise, I would have ate it. So, anywho, what was I saying? Um, she put me in front. She's all like, um, what you, I'm gonna need you to do is I'm gonna need you to uh, take orders. 
I guess, I don't know. It's like a certain time at McDonald's where you don't move from the front. You just stay there ordering and ordering and ordering, if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Three, or you gotta move from right there. You just gotta stand there. Stand there, and if there's no customers, just stand there and look cute. You just gotta be there. McDonald's be having some weird ass shit going on, but whatever. So, um. You told me to do that. Take orders, just take orders. Call the, take an order and call the next one right away. Just take these orders. Come on, let's go. So, boom, she puts me there, and I'm taking orders. Uh -huh. So, as I'm taking orders, like, welcome to McDonald's. Go ahead with your order. Hello, what you gonna be ordering today? Or whatever I used to say, because I don't remember. Okay. And she's running, taking orders. Hey, how may I help you with her big dumb man? Oh, can I help you? A cheaper, okay. Fries with size. So, boom. And I guess she gets the food. They're coming. Now, remind you. She just told me to to take the orders. I guess Mrs. Big Mama's house was gonna do everything. Um, so as I'm ringing my customers up, the cooks in the back are seeing the screen, of course, and they are making customers start oh no cheese, we cheese, extra this, extra that. And they just sliding them on through, you know? So the people in the front could grab it and bag it and usually it's usually and usually it's the managers that are bagging it up and maybe the cashiers if they tell us huh jump on there and do that and serve the food okay but remind you she only said take orders so she's doing some of my orders she's taking them you know she's giving i mean she's taking my order she's uh bagging up the food and boom giving it to me like, huh, and then calling whatever she calls and they take their order so she's running drive through and the front and i'm just taking orders like she told me to so I guess she got all like big and tired. Oh well, she was big, but she got all tired and sweaty. Then I think she forgot that she told me just take orders. So she started like, she's like, you're gonna. She got all like with attitude, like you're gonna have to start doing your own food and then take orders and then get their food and then serve them. Take order, but ugly, like ugly, like ugly. And I looked at her like, mm, okay, that's all you gotta say. So I'm taking orders and I'm going to get their food. Okay. She's like, uh, I take, okay. So I take, take orders and then I go get her food and she comes back. Oh no, at least do like three or five people and then do, do um, get their food together, give it to them and then take three to f three to five more uh, customers, you know, keep doing it like that, you know? So I was like, all right, bet. Motherfucker. And she turns around. So I'm grabbing the I'm bagging their food up, their fries, whatever, and she's fast and drive through, snagging the burgers and the fries. Mind you, now my customers were ordering. I had already a bunch there, so their food was already been like prepped or whatever, and just and then the cooks just slide it on down the whatever they slide it down. So I'm getting the um, I'm getting their food, and she's just snatching their food. That's and in my head, that's my customers food that they ordered but she just want to be fast and drive through taking it all you know so i'm getting backed up here i'm getting other people like oh i've been waiting this many minutes i've been waiting this many minutes. and she's like overwhelmed you know and she starts talking shit like oh you're gonna have to learn how to do it you're gonna do it yourself you're gonna be here by yourself so you don't know how to do it get your own food ugly about it so i'm looking at her like And no, she didn't just talk to me all crazy like that with her ugly stinking hands. So I'm in my head like, I'm going to go real slow. Like that. You know, I just didn't like the way she approached me and like, just started yelling at me from when I freaking got in. You know, like, she was on her period, y'all. Trust me, she was on her period. So I'm like, how you want? And then, so I'm doing this. So then she's like, like grabbing their, the drive through people's um food which is my customers in front's food she just want to be her she just want to be 
quicker than me and get in get it over with while my customers are complaining so i was all like how you want me to get their food when you're taking the, the, my customers food from the front this is their stuff you know already made and everything she's just like ignoring me and stuff and i'm asking her, can you because when i'm by the fries you're like oh throw me like two small fries and i'll throw her small fries but when her big ass is over there and i'll be like hey, can you give me a medium fries she'll look at me like it's just up because it's just down and she ain't doing her thing i was like i don't know eat that so i'm like whatever I'm walking slow to get in their food and they're complaining the customers are starting almost starting a riot so she said something to me like some snotty sh to me like you must um, you're not new here. You've been working here for three months. You sure already know what to do. And in my head, like, first of all, I've been in a uh, drive through Y'all was training me in drive through all of a sudden. You want me in the phone. So whatever. So I'm taking her little snotty ass remarks she's making towards me. So, remind you, in the beginning, I said I was already fed up with the job. I was already going to quit anytime soon. So she pissed me off with all that little and then she would like walk by me and say little snotty ass shit to me. I was all like, mm mm, boo. <laughs> I was like, mm mm, I ain't gonna have no mother treat me or talk to me some type of way. And I'm, you know, I'm all innocent. And you, you talk to me like you, we about to fight. So that pissed me off. That did it for me now i'm the type of person where if you tell me something or act the way towards me any little thing would throw me off or make me look at you sideways you know i won't fuck with you i would distance myself from you okay back to the story so i was like all right she wants to play being a little be being a little snotty bitch to me saying little slick shit to me every time she passed by she would say some slick ass shit i talk she like mm -hmm, i thought you brand new you know instead of being a manager and like fucking being professional she was acting like we was in the hood serving fucking drugs so i was like you know what i'm fed up with this freaking job anyways in my head i'm thinking all this in my head i was like you know what i'm getting the fuck out of here quitting and i was like trying to think of how i'm gonna tell i'm gonna quit but i was like if I tell them, I will. The person I will have to go to to tell that I'm gonna quit is when I say it will be her big mama's house ass, right? So I was like, man, you know what? This, this job. I was like, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. In my mind, I quit. I was done with McDonald's. I was done. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make sure when I leave that she has to deal with everything that I everything the front back side side outside inside whatever so what i did my plan was to take all the customers order order take all the customers orders without serving them their food and then quit on her big ass big ball with wings so what i did was took orders hey um hi how's it going can i take your order would you like yeah small bra okay do you have meals? Okay. You want apple slices or or, or, or whatever, a yogurt? Okay. 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 Or just so many. I think I took about 20 people and wasn't serving them food. And they were, we already had like almost like a riot going on with people saying, oh, I was waiting here 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you want a 45 minutes. But wait some more. So I took all the orders and then. She was still like, you better hurry up. You better, yeah. And then she's trying to, she's like, now she's helping me serve. And she's serving the front. Like, hey, hey. She's like, this is how you do it. You know, she's telling me, she's telling us, hey, hey. Giving, throwing them their bags on the freaking counter. And then still like talking her shit. So when she was in the window, what I did was nicely punched out. Because in McDonald's, don't like my Cheeto hands. Because in McDonald's, you just punch out on the screen and you bounce. You know, you punch in in the screen. At the job I work at, you got to go in the back and punch out. So. I punched out right then and there, went in the back past her, I know she was looking like, when I went past her and I went in the back, I know she was looking like with burgers and fries and her hands and mouth, like, where's she going? I grabbed my jacket and my bag, left my hat on that uh, lunch table and walked out. Left all the customers, I had to pass by all the customers like, sorry y'all, peace out, let that deal with y'all let her handle y'all food boom 
walked out that door, slammed it, and went outside. And I was like, yeah. But, and that turns to everything. But to be honest with you, y'all, when I got outside, I was so fed up with McDonald's and how the managers treated the employees. And in this case, how they would treat me. They used to always pick on me for every little thing. Anywho, when I got outside, I just cried. Waiting on the bus, just crying. And when I was outside and waiting for the bus, I was like, you know, let me call. And I just, you know, get leaving at McDonald's, right? You go in front of McDonald's, there's a bus stop right there. So I sat there, and when I was there, oh, no, no, I'm lying. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I didn't wait for the bus, not that day. I stormed out, and I walked all the way home. On my way home, not even halfway to my home, I called the big boss. We're gonna call her. Um, hmm, what can we call her? We're gonna call her a um, little bit. Little bit. Because she was so small and tiny. So I called a little bit and I was like, little bit, hey, this is me. So and so. Um, I'm just calling because I'm fed up. I'm just fed up and I'm over here bawling. I am crying. Like, I'm fed up with this the way Big Mama treated me. That like, she was just talking shit to me, mumbling stuff every time she walked past by me, um, yelling at me. Unprofessional. I was like, you know what? I, I had enough. I was fed up. I was fed up and I just punched her and I quit and I left. And then she was like, well, thank you for calling me, but she already called me. Yeah, she just said you just left. And my head's like, oh, is that all she told you? So in my head, I was like, dang. Snitch. <laughs> and she's like, okay, well, all right then. Um, yeah, I guess if you don't, you know, if you don't feel comfortable, then I guess. And I'm gonna go like, so all right, bye. I went home and I just felt a little better. I'm like walking home, and then I don't know. I just went home and I was like, "Damn, what am I gonna do now? No work." I didn't have nothing to fall back to. I didn't have another job to fall back to. This was just like it was the right time to try me, you know. So yeah, y'all. That's how I quit my. One of my jobs working at McDonald's. One of my McDonald's jobs. Um, the thing about me is when I'm frustrated, and I can't, I know that I have to be like professional. Or I know I gotta be like a bigger person. And when I know I have to be the bigger, bigger person, person. When I know I have to be the bigger person, and and whatever the case is, it frustrates me to the point where I cry because. Deep down inside, I really want to fight. I want to fight over scratch. I want to just, I wanted to release my anger out of her big mama ass, you know? And I couldn't, so I just, I cried. I cried. I usually cry. And I was so frustrated because I wanted to. <laughs> so I just like, <laughs> bitch, you cute. Do not cry. You got mascara on. Your eyelashes don't fly out yet. You know, instead of fighting and biting and, and, and going and getting locked up. So yeah, y'all, that is story time of how I ended up quitting that stinking ass McDonald's job. Stay tuned for more videos, more story time videos, y'all. And thank you for watching. Thank you for those of you who are subscribed. Grassier, grassier. Catch me in my next video, y'all. Thank you.